Hello and welcome back to the News at Kate election 2015 coverage and David Cameron has missed a golden opportunity to reduce the deficit after Radio 1 DJ Chris Smith offered to bet him a thousand pounds he wouldn't win a clear majority. And the best part was even if he'd lost the money he could still have blamed it on Labour. Now Cameron also got into a jam over a question about sanitary towels. So to mop up the mess uh, we're joined by the Tory incumbent for Bicester, Laura Wallop. Actually, most people call me the Bister Sister. Now, I only spent a short time as Minister for Women, Equalities, Cultural Events, Prisons, Bike Lanes and Soft Furnishings. But I think in that time I achieved a great deal for women's rights. I mean, I refused to go to a hockey match when I heard the women had been given shorter sticks. It was quite a sacrifice. They'd given me an executive box. And I believe that women want to be at the epicentre of public life in Britain and that's why we, at the Conservative Party, have placed them at the heart of the austerity cuts. I'm also enormously proud of Britain's multicultural heritage and why wouldn't I be? I've benefited from it enormously. I mean, my nanny is a wonderful, wonderful woman from, remind me, is it India or Bangladesh? I'm a man. I think it was very wise of David Cameron to avoid the second televised debate. I mean, otherwise, he could have become embroiled in that awful hug. You know, I personally haven't touched another human being to whom I was not married for five years. Admittedly, it did get a lot easier when we sent our eldest off to Eton. I know some people have complained that the Conservative Party manifesto is not costed, but I think they fail to understand that when you're rich, like we are, you can just take this stuff out of petty cash. I mean, we recently decided to build a second duck island and we found it really wasn't a problem with just a few minor budgetary readjustments. You halved my salary. Oh, excellent, you've got my text. You see, Ed Miliband says that his party would continue the cuts. But I think when it comes to being mean and horrible to poor people, the Conservatives have shown that we can really deliver. Britain doesn't want a coalition of chaos. You want a coalition of really posh people. I've been Laura Wallop, the Bister sister. Vote for me. The others are icky. You've been watching the News at Kate election 2015 coverage. Please keep sharing, tweeting, liking and subscribing. And we'll be back soon with more.